gentlemen. You may I have your attention, please. Will the real Sam Prentice please stand up? I repeat, will the real Sam Prentice please stand up? We're gonna have a problem here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this, you are live and unleashed with me, Sam Prentice. We're back today talking about this little chap over here. Brew to you, BR to you. Hope you guys are well, fine and dandy on this cold and frosty Friday night or Friday afternoon, depending on where you guys are. We have a vast array of things going on today. We've got some unboxing of things. We've got a printer in bits. We've got the big ender extender over here we've got kermit the frog we've got tripods garage we've got jerry being sexy we've got jason with his legs out today because it's very hot where he is so let's bring these guys in let's start with tripods hello hey, mate. hey it's been a while how are you doing there sam i'm i'm amazing matey i'm very nice very good uh, well, very well, well. there's jerry hello mate how are you Real good. Wendy in Las Vegas. Brilliant. Okay. Who else do we got then? Jason. Whoa, look at Ooh. those legs. <laughs> hey, don't be showing off your white leg. Okay. I'm sorry. I I have, do we have to rate this now? Is it, it's not, we're okay. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's rated R for um, something. Yeah, oh, please, just keep one. going. Just keep going. <laughs> Tim, AK, come at the frog. How are you? Uh, I'm good. How are you guys doing? Real good. Real good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Oh, my word. That's Hello, insane. everybody in the chat. Non fan, Betty Boot, Kieran. Uh, <laughs> Hello, guys. I hope you're awesome and well. Hello, Matt. Hello, guys. Hi, non fan. Oh, my God. But well, it's been two weeks, guys, since the last one. Um, dare I ask any of you? where you're at in fact who's the easiest first let's go with jason first i think i'm not easy okay <laughs> well. so <laughs> i am so i printed i printed everything cool um and it's right. just kind of sitting you know just sitting there um haven't haven't gone much past uh, what we agreed on you know the the let's get your parts done and uh but i did start to throw some primer on it cool. uh you from know, the guy was, that doesn't I was, like I was raised to I was raised to give my elders extra time to do tasks <laughs> and be respectful so I didn't want to get too far ahead <laughs> but uh, it, it's it's come out really nice it's been it's been a fun a lot of part a lot more parts obviously than than eggbot was especially all the little little arms and movement pieces that go into this uh, but it, it looks really fun it looks really interesting I'm excited to get it to get it going that's cool, dude. That's cool. All right, Tim, what have we got from you, sir? Well, hello. <clears throat> Sorry. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a plethora of parts printed, as you can see right here. Wow. Um, mixed nice. bag of parts. I'm actually building two at once, but I'm, I'm also waiting on a little bigger printer that's being worked on for me so I can print uh, some of the um, larger parts. Um, I, I, and while I've been waiting, I've been tinkering with some of the electronics. So I do have, if I just pop this on here, oops, I have to put all these switches up. I have to learn how to use this remote. There we go. Oh, so hey, yeah. Pepsi for you. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I do I have say, uh, I figured out the electronics on this thing where you pop up your drink. So cool. I, thought, I thought it was going to be nice. like a, one of those T-shirt cannons for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me any ideas. Like and then the, awesome. and the other the other thing is that like it's been my desk is that this is it's a mess. I've got everything going on from all sorts of parts, trying to wire up the electronics, strip screws. When I was trying to screw one of these tracks together last night, so it's it's been definitely a um, challenging week, but it's been a very character building week for me. <laughs> Yes. I, I can't get Kermit the Frog out of my head now. Now, now that it's <laughs> I, don't, I understand where that's so, coming so from. What, so what happened? Just as, so before the stream, we come on about an hour early. We just talk about what we're going to talk about, what the format is for the show, that kind of thing. And Jason's, uh, I believe, daughter mentions. Is that right? Is your daughter? That no, no. Sandra's my wife. Sandra's your wife. Okay. Um, yes. She looks young. She looks young. I've what been asked that before, though. Okay. <laughs> Um, and and you said basically she had mentioned uh, there there is a, uh, a slight underline of Kermit the Frog there, and uh, 
I hadn't heard it until uh, until you mentioned it. So uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to get this out of my head. Um, Isn't that some Frank point. Oz that did Kermit the Frog? <laughs> That's insane. Um, John, <laughs> you're hey, big. How's front. everyone doing? Looks like you're hey, big in front of me. What's been going on? Oh, you know, I'm doing a lot of printing. A lot of printing. <laughs> you want to see how much printing I'm doing? Yeah. Oh, let me uh, move this over here just a tad. Oh. You, you ready? Is that blood on the floor? Oh, no. That, well, <laughs> no, it was a paint can that spilled. Oh, oh yeah. Up? Tell that to the oh, FBI. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, the quality we've exactly. come to expect. <laughs> um, well, yeah, that's a... Uh, <laughs> that was a fun time, but um, yeah, my uh, Ender Five Plus after that uh, hot end catastrophe has been, it just hasn't been its same self. So I, <laughs> after basically almost a week and a half of troubleshooting and replacing, I actually replaced the whole hot end on that thing. Minus one part, which was the cooling fan, because uh, I had a, a, you know, printed duct, dual duct on there. And it was printing fine for a year and a half. And so everything was failing on it. Then finally I said, okay, well, the first three layers are going down fine because I have no cooling on those three layers. After that, the second layer or the fourth layer is 33%. Fourth layer is, or fourth, uh, fifth layer is um, 67%. And the sixth layer is 100%. After that, it was just destroyed. Uh, because I had to, the stock cooling back on there, and apparently that fan is not pu pushing out nearly enough cooling. But I actually did get, get a successful print. So the I have to do mine actually in parts. Um, so I have lots of parts down here for it. Um, but And I actually have all the threads printed. Cool. Oh, nice. But uh, yeah, it's a, uh, I got, after the stream, I got the fans in, so I'm going to have to uh, get that fixed. Uh, oh. And I had to get two more filament dryers because mm -hmm. it, I'm reaching over 50% humidity in the garage and wow. the, it's, I'll show a print a little bit later on. Um, it is really, really bad with, oh, actually, let me, uh, well, here, so let me switch the back to parts cam. Yeah, this it's it's pretty bad. Oh yeah! Wow, yeah, that's wow, bad. Yeah, you can see yeah. that's all moisture in that filament. Wow! Wow! Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was actually on the uh, artillery genius printer. Um, that's when I actually had to stop printing on on the two behind me completely. Because wow. by the time I dry out a roll of filament, by day two, that's what it starts to look like. Wow. wow. Yeah, so I'm I'm at a halt until I get the two other filament dryers out. Um, for you, for more printing on it? behind me. The Ender 5 Plus has, has one on it right now. Hmm. Can you put a dehumidifier in your garage? Would that help? It would, but the problem is, you know, everyone enters through the garage oh, and okay. it, it's attached. And as soon as you open it, how much yeah. more? Yeah, yeah. it's there. such a big then space. Start using the front door oh. and don't do the garage no more. Lock it. Yeah, well, it's it's. I mean, it's creature of habit for twenty years. Everyone's been going through the garage, yeah. and and I have to work on the um, VTBs in the garage this uh, coming up week. And yeah, it's a. Uh, it, the TPU actually came out the best. And it's the most uh, absorbent, right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I could be off of the screen. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, man. That's, that's my work. Like, so I don't what? have much to say. I'll tell you what, before we, we go to you last, Jerry, because I know you've got a few things to say. My my droid's over here, and uh, he's he's not far off being finished. He's, uh, oh, nice. you know, he's, he's doing his thing. He's got this bit in here. He's got the uh, the baby milk, and he's got oh. a nappy, and uh, he's kind of he's kind of ready to go with that. I've um I've obviously been hugely busy with uh, doing baby stuff, so it's not been um, printing and stuff. Although it's been going on here, it's 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 such a tie, 
and I've been building the uh, Rat Rig V Core, as you may have seen on my stream last week, uh, where I interviewed those guys and Michael from Teaching Tech came on and it was awesome. So um, it's been one of those weird weeks, I think, where, you know, you don't quite know if you're coming or going. And then I've returned to projects that I'm working on. And I'm like, man, I haven't even done this up. I haven't done that up. So uh, after our last stream, I spent, I think, two days basically working on that, making sure everything was printed out and assembling it because I knew I was going to be behind probably by next time. Uh, so I wanted to sort of jump ahead and kind of get things done. But in this box here, I think I've got some more uh, receivers and controllers. So I'm going to do a little bit of a show and tell unboxing later. And like Tim, and I don't know if Tim's talked about it, but it might be interesting to you guys as well. This is, I've got two of these turned up in the mail today and they are, which I think is called, they're DDX Hot End um, Clones. So let's see if I can get a zoom in on that. So this is a DDX Hot End Clone, which is basically a, a BGM clone with a, I think that's a V6 style um, extruder in there, if that can be seen. I don't know if how, how good that is on the uh, on the on the camera and stuff. Um, and I think, I believe, these are about 20 quid. So... Wow. And that's aluminium on the back there, and it's actually pretty, it's actually pretty sturdy. But if I find the link for it, I'll um, I'll whack it in the, uh, I'll whack it in the group chat in a little bit. But um, quite interesting, quite an interesting week to say the least. Uh, but let's move on to the man of the moment. Here he is. <laughs> well, a couple of weeks ago, I got all this stuff printed, and yeah, it's a lot of parts. It's all out of PLA Plus from GFC 3D here in the U.S. You can get ten rolls for hundred bucks, free shipping. The track is Pryline CPU, but Yo-Yi, I pretty much ran out of it, but I had some Pryline. It's the harder stuff that I printed all the tracks with there. And what else have I done? Um, well, like Tim, I've got the little canister thing here going for the coach. And uh, let me show you how it works. Just like with his, the lid opens with one lever. I turn a dial. Oh. oh that... There we go. Well, one of them's not coming up. Something just happened. Maybe that was your servo. We heard chirping. Y yeah, because I was I was muting everyone but you, Jerry, because I kept on hearing that ticking. almost like a clicking sound. It was it was your remote. Well, that was weird. There it is. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It's having an issue. I don't know. Well, anyway, I got that done, and uh, it, all the electronic mess is kind of all over the place. I done it on a bench to make sure everything would work, and then on the tracks. I've done a little painting, a little bit of assembling. I don't have anything anything hooked up in it yet. I've done a little priming on it, a little bit of painting. And on the body, what do I got going on the body? Got a little bit of work done on the body. Oh, that looks good. It was primed nice. white, and then I, well, it was primed gray, primed white, and then I went with kind of a yellow, and I scratched it up pretty good on the edges and stuff. And I put the little plates on it, and I'm thinking about doing a rust wash. I've got a kit here somewhere right here but i got off amazon a while back and i'm thinking about doing a rust effect on some of the tracks and on some of these kind of rusting it up making them look old and dirty you put on like a primer this paint and then this other activator and it'll rust up whatever you put it on and on the dome which i already i started painting on it a little bit i'm working uh -huh. on it's kind of a dirty orange and it's kind of bleeding through with like a yellow on it of course i thought more painting and work to do on it but you know i'm doing a little bit of everything on the arms, I started painting the controls black like you'd have on a bobcat here in the U.S. You know, a little bobcat you drive around, you rent, you dig with. And I'm kind of tinkering on that. I originally put these together backwards, and I was watching somebody's pictures. I noticed I had this turned around the wrong direction, or this arm here. So, And then my CR, my CR-10 Max that I have that I bought from a friend of mine here in Vegas a while back, I finally got a hold of the tiny machines. They sent me the modified firmware. So I can utilize the whole bed instead of 450 by 450, it's 470 by 470. And right over here, for a future project, I'm printing an R2-D2 uh, dome right there. And that, that'll be a full-size dome on my CR-10 Max. So that's a future project. I don't have the funds to buy everything, but I figured, why not? I can do a dome. I've got the PETG. And I was going to do PLA Plus, and Sam suggested I use P PETG on it. So I went ahead and went with... Uh, PTG, and that's kind of where, I, where I'm at. I'm just tinkering on this map. So. How long is that print going to be, Jerry? Oh, God, I don't remember. Like 200 hours or something really ridiculous. I don't remember. <laughs> wow. It's got a lot of hours on it. So so what's what layer height? Uh, 0.2 of layer height. 
My oh, top okay. bottom, my top layers are six, bottom six, perimeter six, with like 25% Jer infill. Jerry, did you, do, are, you print, are you printing out a 0.8 nozzle or? No, it's a 0.4 nozzle. I've never, I've never worked with a 0 .4, uh, 0 0.6 or 0.8 nozzle. I have never used them. I don't know how to tweak all my settings if I use a nozzle that large. So I'm just using a 0.4 and it's just going to take longer. Oh, it's yeah. not hard, Jerry. You just change your nozzle, your nozzle size in your slicer, uh, yeah. whatever you're using. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can, you can tune for it. Um, but really it kind of, it, it, most slicers will just take care of it on its own, especially if you go to 0. 0.6, if you go to 0. 0.8, you might want to check things out, but a oh. 0. 0.6 is easy to just swap it out and it'll save you a lot of Time passes time. around. Yeah. Cause you're going to yeah, get, I mean, you're you're gonna gonna get the same thickness, fewer walls. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, this time, this time the... maybe I'll switch it out for future parts, and I'll talk to my tech, tech support, Jason. There, we'll talk to him and get his recommendations. I think, I think Tripod was going to lend some advice then, but I was like, really, that guy? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then okay, <laughs> okay. It wasn't about three D printing. It was about oh. painting and body fill. Okay. It was, <laughs> okay. If you it was a, it was away from three D printing. Well, the body fill part, we understand all those honeycombs in your prints. You got to fill in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I'm just waiting for the other part to cool because, like I said, the main body of mine is um, the Ender 5 Plus wasn't big enough. So I, in the file, you could break it up into, uh, I think it's like six or seven pieces. And the, the still the the main part is still bigger than a, a Ender 3 or it's, I think it'll fit maybe on a CR6 SE. I don't know. As this, but um, it's a great printer. I, I, I hear, I hear it's, it's it, the reviews are stellar. <laughs> I mean, no one's here has had problems with it. Not at all. No one, no one that I've heard from. No, no. Just with stringy uh, pet G. Uh, Kermit has been fine with his. Fan Sam <laughs> has been fine, and definitely tripod. Nothing but success. Yeah, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I say the it was uh, you know this week was a was a was a, an interesting one, and obviously I had that issue with the uh, the hot ends basically just uh, completely melting. Um, but other than that, you know, it's been good. It's been a good printer. But what I would say is, uh, wait for my CR thirty uh, review to come out because I have been printing with that, <laughs> and I'll show you some of the results on this. Uh, so this, let's see, if I can get the. Uh, if someone could make me big, that would be lovely. So this is uh, this is a part that's going to be for this big track system here. And I don't know if you're going to pick it up, but this was printed, obviously printed in um, a PLA Plus. Now, you do the bed, it, it sticks so well to the bed. Um, but the quality is actually, as you can see, pretty damn good. And it's taken a little while. It's taken a little while to kind of get to that. But um, I'm really happy with the results of it actually so far. So, Great. you know, um, it's although it's 45 degrees and it's a bit of a pain, I've had loads of trouble. Uh, P, uh, PLA has been fine, but when you print PETG, especially at 45 degrees, what happens on the edges is it sort of curls up. So, as you're printing something, it kind of pull it back a little bit. So, um, printing things slower, and I mean slow, it, like I'm talking 30 millimeters per second. Wow. It's painfully slow, and especially as this is a Core XY machine, so you would have thought it would have been really super quick. But because of those angles and because of that uh, the layer that's got to move along at the bottom, it's it's very very temperamental. But I have managed to get some successful prints out of it, so I'm uh, I'm dead chuffed with that. So hey, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So where are we going next, then, chaps? What's the uh, any words of wisdom or advice from anybody? Tripod, for example. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I get my own challenges. It, I did not expect the humidity to be as the drop, you know, to get increased as much as it did in, in May. Um, and currently I have um, the foyer door open and a fan blowing in to the garage and actually dropped the, the humidity by 20% in here. So it does, it's actually a lot more comfortable. But if, in case someone opens up the garage, you know, I, I need to get those filament dryers in here. So as you saw with my challenges, it was not usually the elements is always a, a problem, but I'm using filaments now that absorb a lot more moisture that I'm not used to because a PLA you could abuse a little bit, but the PETG was an absolute nightmare for me. Absolute yeah. nightmare. I mean, it was 
it was <laughs> and i was uh amazed how well the tpu came out but um, in comparison but um i still have to order a lot of my parts uh, electronics and hardware wise for for this one locally my amazon cart will be it uh, just reorder 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 um and i still have some motors from the last ones that i ordered more of but uh, what kind of settings did you guys use on your uh, tpu Layer height, uh, infill stuff, stuff like that. Jason, uh, I did four percent. Uh, I did typical uh, um, 0.16 layer heights at five percent infill. Uh, so I actually, my infill was a lot more dense on the last one. I think that's also why it was slower, <laughs> because there's a significant weight drop on on these compared to the the because I still had one from from the last print. I was like, oh, I. Don't recall, but maybe I had twenty percent infill on that. <laughs> they were heavy, so yeah, Jason, that's what high. that's what uh, I think is slowing down that box a lot. With the pry line, I printed all sixty of mine at once this last time. I forget the layers and the infill that I had on those, but when they're all done, I grabbed one of them, I looked at it, and I bent it, and it broke in half. It's like, wow, that sucks. But then I went through a bunch of them, and it was only one that done that. So mm. I, yeah, I mean, it probably had my layers too thin on it. Yeah, I've, I've played around with it a little bit to see what works pretty well for the um for the tracks and yeah. for i'm using uh i'm using nova maker for the tpu and i'm down to two walls uh four bottom four top two walls five percent cross infill and i found that to be um in terms of print time and print quality and the strength of the the track itself um to be, for me anyway, to be about um, more than acceptable, I guess. I, you know, it, it could be better, stronger, faster, whatever, you know, can be the oh. $6 million man, but um, I'm happy with it at that. It's it's flexible. It You know, it doesn't break. It, it I can squish it, um, you know, as it's oh. going around outside. What, what? It seems to grip re pretty well. What was your and infill? 5% using cross, cross infill. Now, did you, which, are you using 85 or whatever, which one oh, are you using? Um, this was, I don't remember. Because I'm using, I think this is 95 or something, whatever it is. Um, I can look it's it up box. real quick and I'll tell you for sure what I was using because it does make a difference. Mine. That looks really nice though. That, that Tim bought those from China pre-made. No. Maybe, Tim, maybe Tim can Please. print some tracks for you, John. Hey, but I can do the one tracks. at a time. I'm fine with the tracks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, I was the first one to print 30 on at once. Okay. I got all my tracks done in 43 hours. This is yeah, you, 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 you didn't see my 60 of them at once. My little yeah, and how long did it take? Yeah, yeah but um, so now, now we're dealing with it Tim Tom. Tom. <laughs> Tim Tom. For anybody out there, though, this is Ninja, Ninja Tech Cheetah, a 98A. Um, Three, three, and three with a ten percent infill, very flexible, and these are printed on the Ender Three V Two. Nice. But if I print any more than one at a time, I get major stringing. So I've just been doing one at a time on three Ender Twos, plopping them off and starting the print again. So yeah, they I mean, turn out beautiful. But as long as I do one at a time, uh, that's I had towards the end of the print when it started to get saturated with humidity, it started to string, mm. uh, but. Otherwise, it's uh, at the very top there. But otherwise, right. it came out pretty pretty good. I mean, oh, as yeah, Jason yeah. said, as Jason said that they're gonna wear out anyways. I mean, who cares if they have strings or not? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, they're gonna it. look chewed up if you if you take them out on the road and yeah and run them around. They you know they're not gonna look pretty forever. But uh, this is this what I'm using is 95A. And that's probably yeah. why the two walls is good enough, um, mm -hmm. and it's and still you know still being very flexible. I used uh, three walls on mine. Yeah, but the two the two walls I, I think it's good because um, you know so while well, here in Vegas <laughs> um, we landscape oh. a lot with rock right grass is not a grass is not a widely accepted landscaping choice here. <laughs> I've got a um, question for Jason. Tell us about you're building a battle bot. Tell us about the battle bot and the injuries you sustained. I, I have no idea what you're talking about, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, my injury. Yes. So my 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 battle bot here 
which is the pit racer from Michael Badley. Um, Do you mean Bedelli? Uh, from Signor Bedelli. Signor Bedelli. I have, I have, I've, I've run into some, into some challenges with the less than quality products that we've been purchasing <laughs> for some of these little bots. Um, and I, I actually had this one go um, just uh, all chucky on me and I turned it on and it took off like a bat out of hell and it took a chunk out of my leg, bounced off me, jumped over something, ran into something else, jammed itself into a filing cabinet and then broke a piece of the body and wow. just kept trying to go through the wall and break itself out of my house and <laughs> until I could pull the battery out. <laughs> but uh, it, it wasn't a fun time. It, I was, it hurt a lot where it got me because the, uh, these, these front, I don't even know what you call them. The, these little front pieces here, the corner is, is pretty sharp and it, it gave me a nice four inch gouge across my, uh, across oh. my calf. Yeah. So maybe he's going to print them out of TPU. For TPU for I, you know, that's yeah. a good idea. And um, I might. I might, I, not I, I might for the next one. Or I'll just sit in a chair instead of on the floor playing around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep my pants on. Not wow. pants on, but instead of shorts. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't, don't want to give any bad word <laughs> pictures, you know. You wouldn't want it to well, spear an animal if you had an animal in the house and the droid takes off and your little your child comes screaming in another room, Oh mommy, mommy, you know. I, I oh no, that, no. If this would have chased my daughter, it, it still wouldn't be in one piece. She would have body slammed it and yeah. that would have been the end of that. She is uh she is quite the three year old ninja. No, I, I would say that the one thing that I would hope in future designs is that there is a battery door. Like RC cars, some of them underneath will have a, a battery door to replace it, right? Um, I don't know. I haven't really looked at the racer if it differs and has something like that. Nice. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's which, which I totally, totally got wrong until 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 senor bedelli put out his video because i screwed this together thinking what are those recesses for i don't know i'm just gonna put screws in because i'm in a rush to start playing with this yeah and then i was like what a pain in the because you got to take the leg off the foot off you got to do all this to unplug the battery i'm like wow i hope this is in revision two um i shouldn't have done the the, the beta files and then and then i went i watched this video and went well, that just makes sense, and I should have expected better. My fault. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> so, is that held in with the magnets? So or? Pers, the two, two, which way is it? Two screws give kind of are just guide screws, basically, and a magnet on Perfect. both sides, and it just and that way too. You know what what he did mention in the video? It just see if I can hold it back up, uh, and it just kind of pops on. When you're looking at it, it's a lot easier to do than if you're <laughs> just so. Then it just goes back on. Um, but uh, one of the things he mentioned makes a ton of sense is you know if you're driving it around and you're racing it around because it's fast with those 35D uh, motors compared to these others. Um, you know if it if it catches on something, it just pops off the back rather than snags your your droid and tumbles it and and breaks your plastic, which is which is a great idea i i should not have doubted my bad <laughs> <laughs> okay well i just well while we were talking about that i was just talking i was just unboxing this micro zone uh controller which i've ordered quite a few of these things now i just wanted to show you this so this was out of china you can buy these on amazon and they're about two or three times the price but what was really unique about them is uh of course you get the usual receiver uh, which I think is a seven channel, but I think you can only use six. Um, but what I found was really useful about this is the dip switches are kind of idiot proof. So if you want to mix uh, your Elevon, Aileron, you can literally just hit the button. So you're not messing around in order to get your uh, channel. So it's old school. Old yeah, school. But, but, yeah. but the, thing, the thing is with this tripod is that it's easy. Do you know what yeah. I mean? You don't have to be That's where they used around. to be. Yeah, you don't have to be titting around with it. Uh, and again, all the reverses and uh, and the normal modes are kind of across here. And then you can sort of do the uh, do the mixing on here. And it's super, super simple. Now, 
Uh, so I ordered one of these for the uh, uh, Tidu droid that's gone out to TCT in Asia. And I've just ordered another four of these. And I think uh, each of these were $22. So I ordered four of them because I want to I want to be giving away some of these little droids and stuff. And I wanted something that was reasonably good um, that people are going to be able to sort of mess around with if they want to. So, yeah, Microzone is the uh, is the company. And again, AliExpress is your friend with that. It takes a few days for it to arrive. But uh, if you're in the market for something cheap uh, that's got all the functionality in it, this is this is one I'm going to be suggesting. So. A lot less expensive than the other one, than the Fly Sky. Oh, God, yeah. But I mean, yeah. you know, the thing is, when, oh. when when Michael came out with this stuff, you know, he just picked something that worked that was easily accessible uh, in the US and the, and the UK. So, you know, when you start doing some digging around and I thought, well, I looked at the Wi-Fi module. I looked at a Bluetooth module. And to be honest, by the time you've paid 15 pounds for that module and you've spent the time out telling someone they've got to download an app and all the messing around, this is a no brainer for me. Uh, so, like I say, I, that, that's what came in the mail today. Uh, I ordered... I ordered four of them, so they're all in here. Wow. And, um, again, you know, I've got some droids that are going to go out. One's going to go out to 3D filler print. Uh, one's going to go out to uh, the guys at Rat Rig. I might send them too. And again, you know, it, this is what you want is certainly if you're making this for a child, you don't want to have to spend more than, you know, I'd like to get this done and dusted for around about £40. And I think that's achievable, uh, certainly with the kind of kit that we've been buying in. Uh, with the controller, with everything else. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to be, I hate to be like a QVC moment, but it's the ideal Christmas present for uh, for your for your friends and family, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, it wouldn't it be great on Christmas Day? It, it wouldn't it be great on Christmas Day if, you know, your nan's sitting there or whatever and uh, she's racing a droid around and the kids are also doing the same thing. So, uh, you know, it's it's all good stuff. David's order has uh, eldered his rat rig v Core 3 today. Well done, sir. You're uh, you're joining the elite. There are there are a fair few people ordering them, and uh, after the stream, uh, the Rit Rat Rig reached out and they said they had a huge number of orders uh, go in over the past couple awesome. of days. It's awesome, of course. And so this both of us, here's Mr. Badley's droid. It's not finished here in the picture, but this is what we're working on. If you're the first time coming here to watch us, this is just a little uh, video of what it's going to be done when you know what it will look like when we get it all done. Yeah, Big Mike is suggesting that he would use a uh, IoT controller. Yeah, I get it, but the thing is, if you're shipping these to somebody, uh, if you've got that, if you've got the technical ability to do it, fine, not a problem. But if you're shipping it to someone and you've got to talk to them over the phone about how to control stuff, people generally don't tend to uh, to be clued into a lot of this kind of stuff. Uh, and if something comes loose or whatever, I sent one of these. I sent one of these droids out to my uncle, and he absolutely loves it. He's in his late 60s uh, or early 60s, I think mid 60s, um, you know, and it's and it's just not an issue. So, you know, like I say, uh, I'm, I'm dead chuffed with it. But I'm glad the uh, I'm glad you guys are looking into Rat Rig and the minions and, you know, all that kind of stuff that they're doing. It's uh, as I say, uh, Michael from Teaching Tech's on board with it as well. And uh, I know he got a lot of flack from the Voron guys. And, uh, you know, we didn't mention too much about the Voron because it wasn't about that. Uh, but again, they're, they're two different printers, all right? They might be kind of very similar in Core XY and things like that. But uh, if you're going to buy one, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I know certainly, Jason and Tim, you've ordered one each. Is that right? What did you buy? The, I got the 500 by 500 kit, uh, the, the standard kit. Right. What about you, Jason? I got the 500 um, as well. I didn't, do, I didn't do the standard. Well, they didn't have the standard. I pre-ordered when it was in the pre-order back in yeah. February. So mine shipped today. Yay, DHL Yay. from Portugal. So maybe by the time Tim gets his, I'll get mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, 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 funny, yeah. the funny thing is about that 500, right? So I've got the um, the V-Core and it's 1.3. So it would have been the Pro um, with all the upgrades. And that thing, it literally just about fits through my doorway. So just remember, if you're going to assemble it somewhere that's not in the room that you're going to be printing in, just measure it to make sure that you're going to be able to get it through the door because uh, it, does, it might not fit. <laughs> well, your, your doorways in the UK are much, much more narrow than yeah. here in the U S right. I mean, That's because you guys be able to fit Americans yeah, you, through the door. That's because right. Americans are fat. They eat <laughs> yeah. too much fast food. They're fat it's like a fast me. food thing, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you, you might be absolutely yeah. fine, but you know, even moving it around. And the thing is the other thing, guys, if you are building that, 
just make sure you're going to make the uh, the control board easily accessible to you. So if you've got it at the back and it's tucked away, I found that to be a real nightmare because I was always tinkering with stuff. And you do tinker with this because you've got to get it tuned in. And it, have that to have that uh, easy ability to you know mess around with stuff, bring it to the front, or make sure it's on a trolley that you can turn it around and work on it and stuff. Um, and the other thing is you don't need a screen with that SKR board. If you're running Clipper, you can do it off an iPad and uh you know and uh, amazing just it's it's a really good machine and uh i think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with it i think a standard door here is like 36 and a half inches doorway yeah 36 yeah yeah and a lot of times you get stuff here. in you got to take the door off the hinges just so you can get the door out of the way to get a lot of stuff in the house yeah because you're talking about four inches for the swing or something like that so this yeah. is all my it's almost done for the, all the components <laughs> lovely colors right so wow yeah it's beautiful isn't it it's like tinker toys yeah isn't it is that just printed out of what was left on the yeah, schools uh, after the failures yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much 100 percent correct jason literally you got it you know no, I, I i just i not not to be you know mean i was no, just wondering no. why the well, color changes because i've done the this, same thing this was <laughs> I'll, I'll pull it out of the dryer but my wife went to um Joanne Fabrics and got me all this sculptal stuff. Oh no! It was like dirt cheap. Oh, pretty. No, no. Yeah, and I'm like, I looked at how much this green was going to use for this. It was almost one spool. I'm like, okay, get rid of it. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh. like I said, the Ender Five Plus doesn't fit right now. The the glass is still cooling down for it, and this was the largest piece out of it besides the. Uh, the um mm. the lower section where the rods yeah. go through that will yeah, fit that, on that here. That platform's massive, isn't it? That that big platform is humongous. It is. So when I went, I was like, okay, I'm gonna print the whole thing. I'm like, what do you mean it doesn't fit? <laughs> like, okay, but I mean, at least you can see, you know, with the with the Ender Five Plus, what how the size difference, right? I mean, it's. But it's it's gonna take a lot of glue and stuff to get these together and lining everything up. But it all fits nice nicely together, and that's what Tim was asking was how well does it all fit? And it yeah, I mean actually with showing these in different colors, you can actually see where your lines are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean and uh, yeah <laughs> yeah a lot of uh, I'm, it's a good way to get rid of excess rolls. And then, Jason, thank you, Bear. Thank you, Bear. You're awesome. Yeah, Jerry. <laughs> you say something about on the bolts to put soap on the long bolts. We screw them in to make them go in easier, and when you're screwing them together, because Tim was having an issue, and I also had stripped a couple. I put a power tool on some of my long screws, and I stripped them when I should have been doing it by hand. And Tim had the same problem. Yeah. Yeah, you and you you especially get that with PETG, right? As you're as you're turning the screws, you're getting that kind of slip stick, slip stick. Yeah. You know, that's just kind of the nature but of the we're PETG, also using, but even um, with PLA. We're also using machine screws. So those typically are going to bind thread. more because you're, yeah, you're you're not threading it with yeah. a, like a wood screw or something. Yeah. A yeah. wood screw, you have the, the gaps and it'll, you know, right now you're threading so close, it's going to bind. Yeah, yeah, if you if you take that, if especially on those fifty mils, the other ones you don't you just don't need it. They're yeah. they're too short. But we on those fifty long. mil, yeah, on those uh, for the drive wheels, um, if you take and I should have done this because this happened to me on Eggbot, and I was putting in the screw and it snapped. Oh, and I just threw yeah. it in the garbage. I was like, because there's nothing you can do. I just threw the whole thing in the garbage and printed a whole new assembly because I already had the other wheel on. I didn't even take it off. I was so mad. I just threw it all in the garbage and just went back you to know, the file and reprinted it. When I work on my house or patio cover or anything, and I don't soap them, but whenever I buy lag bolts and I, I you know, I start them with a hammer, maybe a little bit, then I take a hand ratchet and I, I'm cranking them down. Most of the time, out of 10 of them, I'll break at least two. You get almost all the way down and boom, you snap them. It's like, yeah, yeah, but if you take that bolt and you just take it to a bar of soap and just run the threads across it and and get some get some of that soap in between the threads, uh, yeah. when you as you drive it in, most of it'll back back out, but uh, it'll help it'll help get it back through. You you may need to stop halfway 
back it out, let it cool down, start again. Um, but it helps. And it's, it's not, it's not greasy, not liquidy. It's not going to, you know, spill out everywhere or leave a residue or leave the bolt loose. It won't do that either. Has anybody looked at Hobby King uh, other than Amazon? And then uh, Sam's talking about AliExpress. What about yeah. Hobby King? They're really I, huge I, on all that kind of stuff. I, I got into Tower Hobbies. That was my go-to for, I mean, since I was a kid, basically. Um, Tower Hobbies was is still one of the biggest out there. Um, and I ordered, like, the paint that uh, paint that I bought came in two days without express shipping. We've got a guest popping in. <clears throat> Hey Liam. hey, Liam. Hey, hey Liam. Hey, it's guest time. Hey, He's I'm, like right on cue, guest time. You were talking about the <laughs> screws. Uh, I learned that trick from my dad because my dad's a carpenter. I mean, when you screw and um, put screws into mahogany, any really hard wood, it doesn't like to go in there. Screws no, really it, have you got pre drill, them. and it's usually even one then, size it, smaller than the screw. Yeah, yeah but I usually pre drill a half a bit of and wag bolt. I need to go a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, but a, a bit of soap on it. And it, it, it drives no problem, and they get a really good tight connection. So that's my dad, the trick I learned from my dad. When he, as a Either the better. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. <laughs> and here we I go. I know what his mind is, people. but I'm not going to go there. <laughs> we've got Dennis, and we've got Kieran, but Kieran's camera's not working. Hey, Dennis. Uh, hey, hey, Dennis. How you doing? Have hey, you guys uh, seen Dennis's egg bot? That is amazing. Yeah. Different, I different love bot, but have you seen it? Hey, it Karen. looks amazing. Hey, yeah. Hello there. Yeah, look at I this love, thing. I love the colors. That's amazing. Very yeah, nice. Is that, even, is that even painted, Dennis? That's just the, the filaments. No, yes. it's all painted. It's, it's oh, painted, okay. Not, of oh, it is painted, okay. Yeah, it's painted. Well, it's, I love the color combination. It's yeah. Don't, don't paint blue and then try to use your orange acrylic markers to go over it. It's a nightmare. It <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it would have been I, done... A week, a week ago, uh, at least a week ago, if I wouldn't put coat after coat, I ordered uh, different markers because the ones I had weren't working, and I ended up getting some of the pockets. And uh, it, they're more. Uh, let me get my camera. There's not much paint in them either. No, and I ran out of the. I bought a yeah. set that had a bunch of fines and a bunch of mediums, and I used all the orange on them, so I ended up ordering. Those looking things. really nice there. But yeah, it turned out everything works. Um, just that stupid speed controller issue. It has three it, it, antennas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's, it's funny, you know, you don't you too, don't think so. of those colors for you know a droid, right? And then you see it, and you're like, man, that it works. That's all. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I just like my stuff to be. No, I'm just winning like crazy. I, I have more parts right now on, on, <laughs> on, on the, the printer. Are, are you printing more hands? No. No. Can you say, good, say hi to everybody? <laughs> hi. Oh, wow. So, cool. Yeah. That's resin printers. Cool. Uh, do, they do, legs? do they do legs at all? They, no. For this one project, they only do hands. <laughs> but you can do it with anything. I do legs. I do legs. So I guess yeah. Hey, sign hey, me up. <laughs> a, a good hand job there. Good job. You had to That's go there, Jerry. You had did, to go there. Of course, he had to. Jerry had to go there. We have the he's TV his, and, and his job, and then, and then we have upskirts as well. You know. Well, what's How you doing? Uh, hold on. There was a, a Colorado asked if uh, th that's not that's t the color of the TPU, right? No, that's that is color. yeah. That's just two different brands of orange TPU. Yeah, yeah. Because he you alternated the colors, yes. right? Yeah, that's a good way to do it too. So yeah, what happens when you order those Saint Smart, way. those Saint Smart little quarter spools, and you don't realize it? <laughs> What's up, Karen? How you doing? Not too bad. Um, as an aside, Jerry, I did get your um sticker. Thank you oh, very cool. much. It turned up last week. That's great. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, so, had me confused when I saw um who's sending me stuff from um Las Vegas, but um yep, uh, much appreciated. <laughs> You know, there's, but there's no gambling chips included. So, I mean, obviously yeah. doing something wrong. <laughs> I'm glad you got right, Jerry, you should, yeah. Jerry, you should have your logo on a gambling chip. That would be amazing. You send there those you out. That would be awesome. Jason, yeah. did you get my Did you get my um, badge? Oh, the, yes, I did. Oh, good. Um, okay, good. I, I'm sorry. sorry. I, meant to, I meant to tell you, but it came in right about the time that uh, 
your little one came around, so I, you know, ah. I wasn't going to bug you about the patch, but I did, and thank you. Uh, no worries. No worries. There was a guy. The there was a guy on. Crew. There was a guy on a line in right. Singapore trying to sell them for three hundred and fifty pounds. What? Um, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, and it got take. One of the guys from Lucasfilm got in touch with him and said, "Yeah, you got to take that down." Um, <laughs> and he and he Good. very quickly <laughs> did. Uh, but you know, this uh, I say, there, there's a limited run. There aren't hundreds of those. There are very few of them. So, wow, you know, thank you. Uh, yeah, no worries, awesome. no worries, awesome. no worries. No worries. Yeah. Now, 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 knowing that, I, I need to frame it or something. Or hey, John, yeah. how you doing? Something. Exactly, you do, you do. Yeah. So, any questions? Any comments? Any thoughts? Any uh, 3D printing issues? Tripod? What? Um, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> My Amazon car is gonna be loaded with more stuff. <laughs> he's he's doing okay as long as he doesn't use a six SC. He's fine. That's cool. Uh, That's really yeah, cool. I mean, or it's... or just a three D printer. He's fine. Yeah, or it's, yeah. just don't or use any just filament. Don't 3D. Can you resin Probably. print this stuff? Maybe. <laughs> Have you tried that? <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> It'd be very heavy. Yeah, it would um, yeah because yeah. actually those side parts. Um, uh, Michael did say that uh, a lot of people use resin because mm -hmm. it, the detail is so much nicer than FDM. So yeah. if yeah. you're doing any of the, um, I guess, uh, where they, what part of the drivetrain is it? Um, the side it? panels or, or yeah, the, the, yeah. the other panels? The other panels. Or yeah, the, um, like or the, the top plates yeah. and drive plates. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've thought about like like doing the, you know, this piece in, yeah, in the, resin. Yeah, those are. Yeah, that's but it, it came out. Uh, I'm okay with it. You know, if I was when I get to the point that I start something larger that um, yeah. is really a, a real sh kind of showpiece. Is that resin, know? Jerry? No. Okay. No, but it's a, technically metal, and it, it it was technically a droid. It's out in the desert or wherever it's at, and it's not supposed to look perfect. If you make it look like a brand new shiny penny, I mean, it depends what kind of look what what kind of look you want. Yeah, it's kind of that blind man jumping up and down with a paintbrush look. Yeah, I got yeah, it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good description, actually. Yeah. Guys, uh, cool. my parts finished printing this week, and then I'll start sanding and painting. And while I'm doing that, then I'll order some of the electronics. But I'm not going to. Yeah, if I'm you guys if you guys cast your eye over the electronics what you'll notice as well that that there are more motors than you actually have channels and the reason for that is because actually uh when his arms move forward that's on a servo but it's also on a on a tw it's twinned with another servo that obviously turns the wheels and stuff so as you see his arms movement yeah there is a servo inside of that but ultimately it's it's you know it's going to be twinned with uh with other servos inside that, of that does that use a y harness then no, you just splice the cables. Oh well, okay, same. Okay, same thing. You you can yeah. make a harness, and and I think that's that's probably what he'll do. He yeah. He kind of went that way in the wording with yeah. um the br with uh with the in in the instructions for the BRTU on you can make a harness. Um, you you don't have to like I didn't do that for this one. I just kind of pulled the wires down and joined them together that's rather cool. than making a separate harness. Um, but I may have to do yeah, that because, with this uh, one, depending on the distances. You can actually yeah. buy them. They're very common to RC industry. Uh, it's they're readily available at Tower Hobbies. I, I haven't checked on Amazon, but this, I actually watched the video yesterday so I could get an idea of what I need to order. And uh, I was like, oh, okay. So he's uh, he's basically looping into the speed control because the that's basically going off of mechanical speed controllers of past. I used chat, the server. Chat. Sorry, sorry to cut in for a second. I've just had a, uh, a message from a friend of mine called Giles, and he says, I'm listening to your show, middle-aged men having a chat in the pub, not your age range. Uh, have a good <laughs> evening. So, hi, Giles. <laughs> Hope you're well. Yeah, it's, it's got a bit like that. It's got a bit kind of old, oldie worldy men in a, uh, in a bar somewhere. But, you know, hey, that's what happens sometimes. Uh, yeah. But it is droid-related still, so we, you know, fight the fight and all that. You know, it's all good stuff. <laughs> uh, about a month ago or so, Sam started a group over on Facebook called I'd Rather Be 3D Printing, which is all about the droid stuff that we're working on in particular. And here's a link right here if anybody that is involved or just getting involved would like to join. 
I shortened it up, but there's a link right there if you'd like to come over on Facebook and join the group and be part of what we got going on. Typically, try to only post things that have to do with what we're working on. If you're having printer problems regarding the, the droids or building the droids or have questions, it'd be a great way to post it. And then, of course, I have my group 3D printing and painting also. Hmm. And Jeez. if you have any questions, you know, about, about what's going on with the droid that we're building, obviously, you can put that there as well. Any one of us can help you. I, I'm not the only tech support, no. yeah, even yeah. though I'm the only one with that name <laughs> on the screen. But Sam, Sam is a much better tech support than I, and you know he he might find some time in between the nappy changes and the feedings and and the and you know getting no sleep. And uh, work. And and Jerry and the, and and Tim can Tim Tim has oh my gosh Tim you have come amazingly a long yeah. way. Since your you know, hot help. gluing your fingers together to now. Yeah, don't come to me for 3D printing. I can help you with the electronics part. It's not, okay. Yes, yes. We all have a skill set and an area that we're we're a little better at. Together, we're good. Yes, that yeah. go team. <laughs> Sam, it's been two weeks since we've done this. How's the wife and baby doing? Um, they're really good. We've, um, you know, it's it's a it's such a big change, and I know if you guys have got kids and stuff, you know, it's it, it is a humongous change, and uh, you know, trying to behave normally as I was before. Obviously, things have changed, but you know, trying to. So, if you imagine, I've got this room, then I've got the man cave, and I broad, I kind of broadcast out of both of those if I can, you know, do the YouTube stuff and that, and you know, trying to do. So, I've got a filament review that's supposed to be coming out tomorrow. But filming the last few bits of it is just a nightmare because the baby keeps being handed over to me. Oh, can you just hold him for a minute? And I'm, yeah. And then I've got to do a change and I've got to do something else. Or if I'm working on the rat rig V-Core, you know, I'm, I'm tightening something up. Then I get the baby back again. Or I've got to go out or I've got to walk the dog or I've got to do something. And then I come back to it and I'm like, like an hour or two later, I'm like working on something else. I've forgotten where I, where I sort of stopped. And then I'm like, oh, I haven't tightened up any of these bolts. And I'm kind of having to kind of revolve around. So... From a time point of view, um, he's like a little dementor sucking the life out of me, you know. Um, but, you know, from my wife's point of view, you know, we, she's so tired. And, you know, like I said in my last show, you know, uh, I've got a newfound respect for, uh, you know, for people that have babies and that are pregnant and all that kind of stuff. But there's Bear. Hi, Bear. Hi, Bear. Hi, Bear. Hi, Bear. Hi, Bear. Uh, Sam, I got one bit of encouraging news for you. Oh, yeah. Go on. It's only for the next 21 years. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, only 21? Okay. I let the, I let 20, my that's when they moved back again afterwards. At 20 21, point 11. At 21, when they're, out, when they're out at college, what you do is you change the locks. <laughs> just, in case, any, just in case anybody who's working on this project hasn't noticed, um, Mr. Baddeley has changed the file for the tracks since we first did them. That's so it. he's got a version two of the track. This is version one. They were a little difficult to put together. This is version two. It's it's much looser because right. um, wow. you put more clearance in it. And, and, he, and he says they'll run a lot smoother and less chance of binding up. So if you're printing these tracks, just check and see if you have version one or version two of the file. Not not just, he'll, he'll the, also, not just um, the TPU tracks, but also the gears. The drive wheel. The, the drive, drive wheel. wheels yeah. um, have changed from these yeah. sort of uh, a square, a square point. That's right. Yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, I, I know. I so from these sort of flat points to a, a pointy point, I yep. guess. Wow. And um, they run, they run a, really um, well. It makes a big difference. It, it really does. Um, I, I, I already had those, and, and I don't expect yeah. to, to go around as fast with two cans Kieran. of anything. And Kieran. by the time you get it delivered by yep. your droid, yep. it explodes. Yeah. Oh, more yeah. Flexible. yeah, and it's yeah. really it really grips yeah. and, and releases very very well, and yeah. it will do that. Not maybe not as much, but it will do eighty percent of that spinning, even with the motor on it. Once you get the motor in, yeah, it, it really does make a difference. Original. So I yeah, guess every it, time it really we get the files, we need to find out if Mr. B is done before we print anything. They're, they're I think he's done uploaded. putting out the instructions. He said this weekend. Yeah, so. they've been up, uploaded on all on all the um, BR2U, um, Eggbot, and the new land speeder as well. And I yeah, I printed mine out two weeks ago. So if something was to be difficult, I'd have to go back and reprint and rebuild it. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still going to use the 25, uh, the uh, 
Yep. yep. The twenty-four to one motors on on BR two U. Um, it's Cyberduck. And and with those yeah. with those version one, I guess we'll call them uh, tracks and 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 track gears. I I, I think it'll be fine. Um, the thirty-seven D. He said those thir speed power, those yeah. thirty-seven Ds. Th this this uh, this pit racer in comparison to the Eggbot wow. is is it's a different. lot faster. Well, yeah. you, you consider that that twenty four to one is five hundred RPM. The thirty seven D is a thousand RPM. So yeah. it's you know you can on paper it's twice as fast, right? It's not really, but it's a whole lot faster, and it caught me. <laughs> unaware <laughs> and left me scarred literally <laughs> yes i've got the scar to prove it it's yeah. yes how yeah. many versions of the r2d2 are out there sam is there just one because i'm printing the dome right now if i if i Second, slowly r2d2 the dome i'm printing right now which is eight, about 18 inches if i want to slowly start printing all the parts over time to for a future build which files do I need to print the R2D2? Are there different variations? All right, yeah. So um, the Mark III, but they are they are um, compatible. They're backwardly compatible. So if you printed the Mark II body, you could print. You know, the Mark III legs would fit and stuff like that. But you know, to be honest, it, it, you won't go far wrong with with what you've got. If you just print the latest files, he's not revising those. They're done, as far as I'm aware, and as far as you know, the stuff that he has been doing for such a long time. The R2D2 stuff is done, finished. That's it. Um, unless he then starts doing revisions, there is a guy on there doing a. I think it's a half scale R2D2 that does a two three two motion and movement. Um, I might build another R2D2, but not fully three D print it. I think it'll all be another aluminium build, uh, fully fully metal. Well, I like uh, how it can stand up and then it lays back. So is that a different? Version. Yeah, I mean, to, to be honest, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, he didn't finish his 232 version of it yet. But if you've got the Mark III, uh, then I think there's going to be adaptions made to that. But what essentially what you're trying to do is pull the front back and then obviously lift the leg internal as well. So normally you have to have rods to pull that kind of motion in. On the, uh, on the metal ones, they had a planetary gearbox that basically turns the legs in. But, of course, you've got that. You know, you've almost got this movement here where this is straight and that kicks out. So this is the front foot. So this has got to come in and up and this has got to straighten up. So it's, um, yeah, it's it's a challenge. And I've seen a lot of R2-D2s fall over. And, of course, 3D printed, that's certainly what you don't want. Um, <laughs> that's that's really what you don't want. Uh, if you go, so, Rene, if you go to the Michael Badley page, so Patreon forward slash Mr. Badley, uh, B A D D L E Y. I'm sure someone will chuck the link up in a second. It's uh, in the description of the videos, but I'm looking for it now. Cool. Okay. Uh, then basically, he's got a Patreon page there, and all the files are downloadable for all these things that we're making. Uh, again, we do a bi weekly show now. And we come back and sort of talk about what we're doing. We're starting small, uh, you know, and the, the drive system you see on these little track droids, I'm building a much larger version with Michael at the moment. Uh, I think we've got a video coming out, I think, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're going to be talking about what we're building and how we're going to do it and what it's all about. And then those files, uh, I think in uh, September, October time, they will then be released. And if anybody wants to try and build one of these big ones, then they're more than welcome to as well. But, uh, you know, the great thing about this is that the, these particular tracks that we're making on these small droids, there's going to be, an, I think he's got something crazy, like 150 different uh, designs planned wow. for these. So, you know, if you've got uh, an ALT droid, if you've got uh, the egg bot, if you've got the, the uh, drink droid, if you've got the little pit droid thing, uh, and I know the pit droid head movement, so he's got uh, a two sticks that move up inside of it and it moves around and stuff, that, uh, that design is going to be uh, frequently used, I think, from now on and, um, you know, better produced, I think, in the, very, in the very near future. So, you know, there's, there's designs coming out all the time. It's... it's madness how one man is able to uh, just, just dropped a uh, new video with the sand crawler in it with the um it. the chassis of a sand crawler yeah he did yeah it's yeah. gonna be big well. too yeah he didn't that say big. scary big yeah he i think he said the, um... i think he said the baby droids will fit inside yeah, <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. yeah. Wow. He, didn't, he didn't do the slicing of the tdo yet did he the what the slicing of the tdo the one with the, the, one, the one with the tracks, the big one with the tracks that you have, Sam. The, the red one. Oh. 
Uh, Sam sorry. was working on a big Tito, weren't you, Sam? Yeah, yeah. So no, it, that's not going to be out for a little while yet. But we're still working on. So I'm doing. So the next the next big ones I'm doing is going to be Chopper. So that's going to be fully 3D printed Chopper, and that's from the uh, the Rebels uh, cartoon series. Uh, that's with Polymaker, and then uh, we're doing a giant Tito as well. Uh, which uh, you know is basically is basically this track droid, this this part of the track here. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be cool though, you know. And also these tracks can work on the big ALT droids as well. Um, so it's fully it's fully immersible depending on wh whatever you want to do. At the moment in the background here, I'm printing out the uh, the planetary gearboxes to run this. So uh, hopefully in the next week or so, I should be you know nailing that and it should be moving around and doing some things as well. So it's uh, it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. Yeah. I was um, talking with Dennis earlier this week because his droids got um, lights and sound. And I was asking how he got the lights and sound to work. He was saying he was running two nanos, one for the sound and one for the lights. How are you guys doing yours? One nano for both or or an individual nano driving? Two nanos. Yeah. Yep. That's what tech support told me to do. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. fine. I mean, there's enough space on the, on the nano. Yeah, technically you can do two yeah, sketches in it. Yeah. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few weeks ago on the live stream, Jason was showing how the egg bot, the head would come off real easy and it's showing us the inside. And it's like, wow, when I put mine on, I'm fumbling around trying to get the bolts to line up to get the magnets to, to work right. And then after the stream, we hung out for a little bit and he went to show me and uh, I think it was Tim something. He pulled the top off and the balls went everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. I, I, I lost. On camera and then after the stream, it wasn't. I'm glad it didn't happen on the stream, but yeah. I, I did. I did lose my balls uh, for a second time, and I think what it was I the wife has them. was after. That's yours. Yeah. Your center yeah. console yeah. of her car. Yeah. Or are they are they back in the freezer between the the ground beef and no, the she's still right, no, she's still right around. Yeah. I told, Jason, I told you they're in the center console of her. Car. I didn't know if she put them back into the freezer. No, no. She, dropped, she takes them everywhere where she's at. They're I dangling gotcha. off her toe bar at the back of the car. Under supervision. <laughs> um, no, what happened was with the the first big crash that I had with the with the egg bot, I think damaged that lazy Susan, and I put it back together, and it, it didn't feel right, but it still worked, so I kept it, and it just came apart. So I, re I made a new one and put it back together, and it's it it's good now. It feel right. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, that lazy Susan is definitely um, a fun assembly. <laughs> oh, oh no, I, I love it. I love taking those little balls and shoving them in the <laughs> hole and making them fall and oiling them and lubing them and stroking them and spinning them. And it, it's. Is this. Are we on the wrong channel? I, the I think we are, yeah. Oh, I think this is, think this, this is YouTube X. Passionate, Jason. This is YouTube X. Here when when with, in doubt, when in doubt, more lubes. The answer is really supposed to be Jason's <laughs> fun house. Is what it's supposed to be. It really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh boy. That lazy oh Susan boy. was was has and been the bane of, of my existence. There, <laughs> any of you out there that have Netflix? There's a really killer zombie movie that just came out today. Takes yeah, place. I gotta watch it Vegas. tonight. I'll awesome play. movie. I watched it right before the stream. Really what good. Was what was it? Uh, it's the guy that. Uh, Plays uh, what's his name in um, with the um, the spawn the guy, isn't it? Oh, it's great, so yeah. memorable. Tom, Tom yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going yeah, into my chair now. Is I'm it Tom, Tom Hardy? Is it no. Tom Hardy? Or is that Venom? <laughs> no. I don't see the name of it right now. I'm on Netflix, but it's a great movie. It's a zombie movie released today. Excellent. I'm, I'm watching Jupiter's Wait, Legacy on Netflix. That's good. That's, that's, good. that's Jupiter's that's legs, Legacy is good. Yeah, I and like I like the, the idea of it about the first superheroes and all their kids are a bunch of jerks. I love that. <laughs> Which one is it? I'm watching too. Jupiter's, Jupiter's Legacy. Jupiter's Legacy. It's on Netflix. Oh. Yeah. It's about yeah. people who became super who are gifted um to be superheroes and um and then and it, it's kind of jumping over and back between the past and the future because you're learning about how they got their powers and what it was like when it started off and what it is now now it is with our kids there and our kids have powers and all this kind of stuff yeah yeah that's his name from guardians of the galaxy oh uh, michael how you doing yeah hmm. yeah so, but we still don't know the name of the movie uh, Evil Dead or something, wasn't it called? 
Yeah, no. something like that. No, it's not oh, the Evil Dead. Evil Dead was... Uh, Oh, uh, Army of Darkness, Army of Darkness. That was yeah, no, that's, Darkness. That's, the other, that's the other famous Sam. Yeah, this that's is what booms. That's in Evil Dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now, I'm thinking my that was white. bad. That was I'm going to white PLA right now, and I'm going to paint it up afterwards. With your Arduinos and all that, are you guys um, encapsulating them, or um, just eating them naked inside your inside your boxes? And just the wires hanging out or stick in a frame or Yes, I took right. mine and uh, I used a um, right. a screw terminal board for them. So yeah, I, I just married them up and then just hot glued right. one into the dome and one yeah, into like the bottom. Yep, one of these? That's it right there, Tim. Yeah, yeah. 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 Tim's yeah. got about 46 of those sitting in a drawer <laughs> yeah. behind him. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Just um, so you know, uh, Tim, Tim has an Amazon addiction right now. <laughs> That, hey, that he's yeah. he's admitted it, so it's the first step. That's the first step. That's but, the first step. Yeah. Hey, I can't but, remember what uh, I did. Was, and then I just hot glued it him in. Yeah. Yeah. For the one uh, for the um, speaker, I actually found a spot next to the shoulder on the side that you could drill through, and I just put a screw on that side. And for the dome, I just hot glued it into the dome. Yeah. Hmm. One one word of caution when you're doing your wiring for the dome: make sure it's secure. <laughs> I'm going to share oh, a screen. Oh, oh so something happens. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Smoking or short. Make sure it's yeah. short or secure. Yeah, because this happened to me while I was out in Waterton Park, and that twisted Spun mess up. was ugly. So, yeah, that was disgustingly awful. I had to take my whole Lazy Susan apart. I had to take all the balls out and reinsert them and everything. So make Man. sure that wire is secure. Yeah, don't don't get that your balls in a bunch. The slip ring? And yeah. that, that happened to Jerry too. Uh, when I was helping him out one time, uh, he was holding the Lazy Susan in his hand, and it was spinning it around, and it just it just caught <laughs> itself. You know, it just started twisting itself yeah. up. Yeah. So watch, your, watch wire your wire broke. length. Actually, that's a good idea. Yeah, we should uh, create I, like a. I, those I don't have an affiliate. Yet. A page with links to all of the motors and everything else you need to buy for each droid type. Yeah. Hey, hey Sam. The, Sam, um, I know yes. it's late. Do you need to go? I do. Um, I've got dog training in a few hours' time. So uh, I, 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 thought you said, I thought you said adult training. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Well, his wife is sending him on dog training, so he'll be obedient. <laughs> <laughs> one, thing to, one thing I wanted to say real quick those retractable key things that I use on my printers to hold up the wires I glued that in the dome so when the dome was on it grabs that excess wires so it don't get trapped down in the Susan's wheels and it pulls them up that's a good idea and they're yeah. just hot glue they're cheap on that's Amazon cheap. Yeah. But yeah, and, cool. and I, I went that I went that magnetic anyway. USB route and it's been it, you know other than the lazy Susan uh, <laughs> yeah. The wiring hasn't been an issue since. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, we'll be back in two weeks, right, guys? Yep. yep. That's correct. Yes, yes, yes. I might have my motors paint? by then. Two weeks. Still waiting for okay. mine. Yeah. I might have some paint work done by then. And I'm doing I'm, a hangout I'm, tomorrow at, I don't know, around 1 o'clock, one, around 1 p.m. tomorrow. I'm doing a hangout. If anybody would like to drop in and hang out and talk about what you're working on, your 3D printing projects, whatever. You're welcome. That's and I'm getting awesome. close to 2,500 subs. We're, I'm going to have a big giveaway at 2,500. I'm at like 2,370 right, right now. Yeah. So what, it, so what is our goal for, for two weeks? What is our goal for that? What are we? What parts are we showing <laughs> on Ooh. that episode? Well, I think we're going to get movement <laughs> on the next one. Surely we're going to be in be the movement zone by then. So well, you're not with me. Yeah. Well, okay. you're wiring. Yeah, so you're on the electronics at that stage. Your assembly okay. and partial electronics, or or both. So yeah, um, I'll be out of respect for my elders. I don't want to get ahead. <laughs> I'll be I'll be completely done in two weeks. Okay. My, my problem is parts and getting stuff in down this part of the world. I'm still waiting yeah. on motors. Been a month for motors, a month for yeah. speed controllers. Did you order the motor to Vegas, the Paul Pol or whatever? <laughs> Polo loop. <laughs> polo loop. Polo loop. Polo loop. Yeah, the polo motors. They're just getting them in, in country. So everyone's out of stock for everything down here in Australia. Wow. Um, they're all we in order. Hopefully the speed control is the next week. Car. The motors are next week. Yeah. Oh, which, wow. Which, which, Look at the big old fancy box he has. They didn't polo. send me a fancy box. Well, well, I ordered just by two because of motors. That's because we're down the street from them, Jerry. We don't. Yeah. We just yeah, get the motors. Yeah, them off the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, no, I, I got mine in a, in a soft pouch. Me too. <laughs> yeah, but I ordered that full. 
So, oh, but you ordered you ordered the what they had left on their shelves, but like thirty of them. No, no, I think it was only. <laughs> That's in why you it's only it was only twenty eight. <laughs> well, I'm paying shipping for one, or I'm paying shipping for twelve. So, so. Um, one one thing I noticed was that the um the D the, the thirty seven Ds are a six mil shaft, whereas the other motors are a four mil shaft as well. Yes, so yes. You make sure yes. you get the. So I have to go and order an, another set of flanges and. Yes. Six mils. Yep. I'm glad you brought that up because I noticed that when I was ordering the motors, um, when I was reading the specs, that they had a six mil shaft, and ordered the flanges for them. And I mentioned it to, to Tim, and yeah. uh, well, to to everybody, kind of. Um, and because uh, and he has a six, six it's mil easy shaft. To miss. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you, you know two, all about two mils is a big yeah, difference, there, Sam. You should know that that two mils difference is a big difference. Ah, uh, there. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Doesn't that a great stream? Does anybody have any closing comments? Any closing comments? If you're if anybody's watching and they're on the edge of trying to decide whether to jump in one of these do it it's a blast as you can see we all have fun the little ones can be knocked out in the weekend and they're just they're a blast to play with but you learn and it's just yeah. it's great i mean no, it's good. just this, no, this current no. one I'm, I'm like tim my my tpu threads one at a time i tried more than one and the stringing and they self-destructed it wasn't pretty so mm. <laughs> i'm still got another 20 to print off Wow. Yeah, I took Apart my from propane that. torch to them once I got done. So I had a lot of stringing. I pulled it off the big bits, like with the little blue cutters. And then I laid them all down, took my blue torch, and ran across and covered the string. It wasn't so much the stringing, it was the fact that it pulled, one of the strings pulled in a, just a domino effect across the, the oh, bed. Okay. Like, oh, so, no. <laughs> yeah, one went, they all went. So, nah, I gave oh. up on that back of the singles. That oh. was the reason. I did mine yeah. singly, too, yeah. Karen. And that, that's why there. I won't. That's why I won't do 60 at a time. It was so yeah. nerve wracking because I was just waiting for them all to go down. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, just like, uh, just like, uh, catch one. That was it. So I was just so, so frustrated. So one at a time, what the hell? <laughs> Kim, well done, Kermit. What's going on, Kermit? <laughs> what, what, why am I big? <laughs> We're ending the stream. You're the man. It's hard being green. You got to kick us all out and run the closing credits or whatever yeah. you, you guys do. So Pavel's just jumped up. So Pavel is the main man, right, who is behind the V-Core 3 rat rig design. So uh, he is he's the big one of the big cheeses of that design Very and cool. also the designer of Ava, which is the... Uh, uh, which is the extruder uh, element that goes with that printer that tripod hasn't got the balls uh, to buy at the moment. Oh, okay. Uh, what, so, hey, someone show He's the... got the five mil balls and he's using them on his drawers, <laughs> yeah, so, but that's all he's got. So his wife has them. Okay, but, he's, but he's got a hundred of them, so it's okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. So everyone's showing their orders, right? Well, a couple of the guys are showing their orders from Rat Rig when they're going to get them. You know, I have money tied up in other projects at the house and I just won't be able to get it until the, you know, end of summer. Ish. Is and, your wife uh, hair like this? Is she? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> no, I. What was that sound? Was that was that the sound of of the purse slamming shut? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I heard. Okay. Does anyone have the um, the communication that, that I sent out? I took their rat rig. Say, oh, your order status. So I took it and I modified it for my own liking. I, if someone can pull it up real quick. That'd be great. But it, I got a I got a big uh, Pavel always on here. Get mine shipped really quick. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it was I here. Let me uh, let me read it off then. Oh, I'll, I'll um, find it. Oh, oh trust yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, the the I, I'll tell you what. I so tempted to to reach out to Sam and say. You're close to these guys. Can you get them to make mine faster? <laughs> but that's, but you know the the thought that if I was that guy and somebody else would have done that, I'm like, I just can't do it. But I want to. <laughs> I want this printer so bad. Sam, Sam works for baby powder, fresh nappies, baby oil. <laughs> there you go. Anything okay, you so, need. There it is. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an official message guys it really is yeah. no, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> if it's not it should be 
<laughs> right? Yeah, so, yes. It's I accurate, though. Jason it's accurate. It. I, I, I did pull Jason on it because I did that really quick. Yeah. You know, like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm to have some fun with these guys because, I honestly, I know I won't be able to do it in a while. I do want it, and I'll do, I'm going to do the 500, 500. Is that what you got, Jason? Oh yeah, yeah. The price different, yeah. you know, for the price difference, yeah, you you just don't want to regret not doing it, yeah. and it, it, that way it's just done. Yeah. But yeah. I, I read that when 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 he he did he sent that out like super quick in in a conversation, and I was like, wow, Rat Rig is such an amazing company. They sure know their client base. They really, it's like they're there with you, man. <laughs> they know you because that's yeah. accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, you know, it's a uh, it, wife sees that because it's like I got to convert it into from pounds, <laughs> euros to, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, crap, this is going to be a big one. <laughs> you know, like I can't just like do a couple of Amazon orders and hide it. This is, <laughs> this is one that's like, okay. The, the box would be a giveaway when it turns up at the front door there, John. Yeah. <laughs> I know he'll get it delivered to the gar to the garage where, where and that's where he. Sam's got to get going yeah. to bed, guys. We need to clam up and let uh, Tim in the yep. screen. Yep. He's not going to bed. He'll be up in fifteen he's, minutes. He's go <laughs> 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 All right. All right, guys. Well, thank yeah, you very much for joining us. We love we'll everybody. You two weeks time. Don't forget to catch Jerry and the rest of the guys. If there's any more videos coming out, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you next time right here on YouTube. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank you, everybody. Take care.